What's up everyone? It's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Takara Tomy LG15 Transformers Legends Nightbird Shadow. Uh, so here it is in the box. It's got a similar box to the other Takara releases like the RC and Chromia. The back has some, uh, you know, a little bit of illustration back there which is kind of cool looking and the actual toy in robot and vehicle form. Alright, with a nice little G1 kind of grid here and a little half shot there of Nightbird and we turn it around here it's got the actual illustration from the back uh, as you can see it comes in vehicle mode so that's what we're gonna start with today alright inside we have a little baggie with a nice illustrated instruction manual and this little you know promotional little white thing here which I always see in there I don't know what the hell it is uh, but anyway so here is a nightbird in her alternate mood I gotta say it looks stunning I love the colors uh, you know we're gonna get to that in just a second but you'll see it's got the two little guns just as you would find in the RC mold. You also have these little bladed gun type weapons or swords, whatever they are, just like RC, but they're molded in a clear translucent uh, yellow there, or as I used to refer to this colored plastic, frozen piss. And these little size here, okay, you might be familiar with these weapons if you've, uh, you know, enjoyed Ninja Turtles in the past. Otherwise, they're just standard Psy blades here or weapons. All right, and then the actual alternate mode here All right check that out it's got some nice black plastic here some beautiful silver paint a nice tempo printed Decepticon faction logo we look at the interior here you'll see the seats are painted purple I really like the way they put those seats in there and detail them and also the dash okay and then the little steering wheel contrast slightly there um, it's just molded in uh, gray plastic compared to the silver there um, and it's just really nice silver. I'm really enjoying the silver on here. We turn it around. It's got a nice metallic look to it. It doesn't look very, very cheap. It's just got a nice, almost chromey look. Uh, you can see all the robot bits down here, just as you would RC. Uh, so just looking at it this way, um, I don't have the RC here, but I believe it's the exact same mold. Uh, I'm not sure if this is exactly the same as RC, probably not. But I think that's really the only thing I can tell that's a little bit different as far as memory is concerned. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. But yeah, so here it is. Uh, she doesn't actually roll very smoothly. I don't know if anything's dragging. I can't really tell. Um, but it was never really a free rolling uh, figure to begin with, especially when you got the wheels crooked here. Of course, they're not going to roll perfect. Let's try it again. All right, so it rolls a little bit better, but it's, it's still, you know, not properly aligned. Uh, this is how it is out of the box, so it might have something to do with alignment. But yeah, uh, I think it's really cool looking. Um, I think this mold fits Nightbird very well. I am, of course, uh, speaking mostly about robot mode, which we're going to check out in just a moment, but I'll give you a moment to just stare at this a little longer. And we'll go ahead and attach this. You can go ahead and do this on the back you can attach these sword weapons back here and there is a storage area on the bottom here for the other weapons you can store this one right here this way I believe that's how it goes and then this one back here pegs right in the back alright and as far as these are concerned I'm not sure if there's actually a spot to put them in but uh, maybe here all right, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked at the, the instructions, but uh, this would be a cool place for them to go. So you can pretty much, uh, you know, attach everything on the uh, alternate mode. And I think it looks really cool. I'm really digging the translucent yellow. All right, so having said that, let's not beat around the bush. We are going to do uh, transformation, which is not terribly difficult. Uh, it is exactly the same as RC. And here is Nightbird, as created by Dr. Fujiyama in the G1 cartoon. She was, after all, created for good, but then along came Bombshell and implanted a chip that drove her crazy and made her bad. Uh, as she does a pretty good job of looking like what she did in the uh, G1 cartoon, except she's got a huge backpack on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach some of the weapons here. All right, so we got. Uh, a pistol here. By the way, she has the open hands. I know there were some RCs with closed fingers. This has the open type hands. Put those in there. It looks really awesome. I wish it came with like nunchucks, uh, so it looked a little more like what I saw in the cartoon. But this does a great job anyway. 
All right, we got the guns there. You can, I think, also plug these things back here to look like the animated RC. I'm not sure if I had done that before. Uh, you can put both, or whatever, but I don't really care too much about putting those on. Uh, you can probably also plug these in here, just like that, so she has them handy for fighting. And of course, you can also plug them in on the side here, wherever there's these uh, rectangular peg holes you can put the weapons on. I think they kind of look cool on her thighs here. Uh, she can also hold on to them in her hands, which is what size are meant to uh, be used like, just like that. And she's also got a super secret hidden compartment for one of her pistols. Uh, and I will show you that right now. I will always find the way to plug guns into crotch areas on my robots. And there you go. Now this does happen to be one of my favorite molds in the deluxe size. I, I think it just works right. The proportions are really nice. I know some people have uh, their little nits and picks about it, but I think they did a good job. We got the head on a ball joint here. Even though she's got that long Egyptian chin, you can still move it around, up and down. A very fair amount of movement. We have the shoulders here, which are in a ball joint, as you can see. So you get all the movement of a nice ball joint. But they are hindered a little bit once they get to that spot. We have bicep swivel on the upper area. We have the elbow, which uh, is not double jointed, but it does give you a fair range of flexibility there. We don't have a waist because these two halves clip together. Uh, we do have her, have, uh, her hips here which you can kind of move out of the way to bring them out farther, push them back in. We don't have uh, any thigh rotation, but we do have a knee rotation. We also got the knees here. Again, not double jointed, but it does have the range of uh, a double jointed knee. Uh, we get down to the feet here. All they do is swivel back and forth. There's no little side to side. And that will bring us to the end, guys. If you want to pick one of these up, please click the link in the description below to Big Bad Toy Store. And if you have any questions and comments, please leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.